What is up everybody? We are back again and today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the MSI Radeon 2 PMD 3GB of the GDDR5. You can see this uh, R7970. So let's hop right into this. This is the reference cooled version. This is using a reference board. Uh, so let's go through what we have here on the back. It says over voltage of the GPU function, optimize advanced speed control because this is a reference cooler. It's a blower fan. It does support, I believe, two-way SLI. And, or uh, Crossfire, my apologies, that's NVIDIA, this is AMD. Uh, this does support real-time video capturing and you can also control it versus or, uh, via um, Android devices or iPhone. This does come with a three-year warranty. This is the three gig version. The memory bus is 384 bits and this, uh, this will do two mini display ports, one HDMI and one DVI. So let's pop right into this. Uh, a couple more things on the back. We have the aluminum core, which is a new marketing feature by them. It's the solid cap. Um, so let's see what we have here. Uh, we have iFinity uh, support, the HD 3D, HDMI 1.4A. We have the Dolby True um, HD and DTS HD Master Audio support, AMD App Acceleration, all the good stuff, Power Play, Power, power Tune. Uh, it's a 28 nanometer GPU. Uh, might I say that this is actually a good starting point for your um, water-cooled card, which is actually what I'll be doing this. I'm doing a, a quick system rebuild over this winter, which I'll be upgrading my case, my, uh, my water cooling system. I'll be having a 400 and a 220 millimeter radiators. So there's pretty much nothing in the box except for another box. Yeah, but I'll be switching out that, my motherboard, and a couple other things too. So here we go. There's another latch. Opening it up, we have foam. There we go. So here we have the GPU itself. And might I say it's actually quite a hefty card. It's uh, I'm pretty sure it's a black PCB. It's quite heavy actually. There's some nice thick foam. There's a look at how thick it is. I like this kind of foam. It actually. Uh, gives you a little security. Here's a disc that you should not use. I believe this is a 6-pin to an 8-pin. If you don't have a PSU that will support this, if you are going to do multi-GPU like Crossfire, or Crossfire X, you might need to get something like that. Here's a mini display port to HDMI. I'm not going to unwrap that. And here's your DVI to VGA, which if you're honestly getting this kind of a card and you're still doing that, you need to readjust your priorities. You get a little... I believe this is a poster from MSI. Not sure what that was, but okay. Nope. It is a pamphlet showing you some of their other stuff, previous products, the HD 6000 series. Pop that back in the box, and that is it for the accessories. So popping all the foam and stuff back in here over onto the box and off to the side. Let's get cracking. So it comes in a nice package. This is a reference cooler card. Uh, here's the back plate. This is the reference PCB design. Uh, it does support the overvolting for um, MSI Afterburner. It comes clocked at, I believe, let's do a double check here. Um, this is the OC edition, by the way. It does come with a three year warranty. Not sure if I mentioned that. Uh, so here, let's see if we can find some stuff on this. This is the 7970. Let's see. I know that it is overclocked. The GPU is just over a thousand one gigahertz, actually. Here, hold on, let me just charge myself so that way I don't static fry this thing. Quite a hefty card. So uh, here it is. You get your nice MSI logo, you get your 8 pin and your 6 pin. You can, you can see that there. You get your nice shiny MSI logo again. That's actually... No, nope, that's plastic. You get your nice little covers. There's the back plate for the GPU. And remember, this actually can be taken off. You can replace it with a water block. I'd recommend going with a Swiftec Komodo. They actually have had some revisions on that, so now it is a lot better. Uh, here is the side. We have some ventilation down here. That's pretty much what that goes. Uh, you have a whole full cover shroud on the top, and there is no back plate. Uh, that's why I actually would recommend water cooling this because this is the reference cool. And if you're not willing to shell out the money for a 7970, the power edition for which is just a step underneath the lightning, 
I go ahead and get this. Here's your DVI, your HDMI, and your two mini display ports. You get some MSI logo on your venting back there on your PCI slot. And might I say this is actually quite a hefty card. Um, I'm quite surprised. So here is a look at the front. You get your nice, lovely looking MSI logo. You get a nice red unbranded, which I like a lot. Um, you get your blower fan. You have some nice carbon fiber kind of looking stuff. And uh, so yeah, there's your crossfire. Actually, I'm not sure if this is a dual or a triple crossfire. Uh, you'd have to look that up for yourself. Here's your PCI 3.0 interface, I'm pretty sure. This is a PCI 3, I'm not exactly sure. And the finish on this is beautiful. Uh, you can see some of the PCB down through the bottom of the card, it might, or down through the bottom of the fan. It might be a little difficult to see that, but that is pretty much the gist of this card. If you're going to go with this card, I would recommend water cooling, and I've seen reviews that it does run a little hot, and I'll be replacing my current Sapphire 7870. This is the Gigahertz edition. That's the one that I have in my system. This is also overclocked. This is actually stock from the factory, overclocked faster than my pre-overclocked 7970, or 7870 that has some overvoltage on it. Um, just a little bit, though. But yeah, I really recommend water cooling this. There's a lot of really good heat killer blocks. Uh, there's some good EK water blocks, I believe, and the SwiftTech Komodo is another great looking alternative that would turn this into a nice single slot card. It's got the nice engraved logo on the front, but anyway, if you guys are in the market for a fast, relatively uh, inexpensive compared to a 7970 Lightning or the Power Edition, uh, or yeah, uh, any of those cards, I'd recommend picking one of these up as soon as you can. They actually went out of stock so quickly on Newegg. I think I logged on to Newegg to see if they had another replacement and they were all gone. So, that's pretty much my review of this card. Uh, quick unboxing of it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time and I've got a little bit of gaming to do. Check this out.